my wonderful giants, I am back. <laughs> I didn't think I would be back, but the response to my last video about my rosacea situation has been so amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Literally, I was about to give this whole YouTube thing up <laughs> because the only thing I wanted to do was to film this one particular video for the skin. And then once this was done, I was actually thinking about giving it up but you guys wouldn't let me and i'm really grateful for that so i'm back i don't know how much i will be able to film but i'll get the hang of it so let's just get into this i have uh my absolute beauty favorites of the month of march today i know i'm a bit late but um as you can see my background is changed and that's because I moved. I moved from Berlin in Germany to Munich um, last week. Was it last week? I think it was Sunday last week. And so I'm uh, just settling in, uh, living with a friend here and it's wonderful and I'm enjoying it, but it's all very exciting and uh, lots of things to do and to take care of. So today a little break from all of that and let me get this bangle off because that's annoying <laughs> and then let's just get right into my beauty March favorites all right so the first thing I have to show you guys the ones of you who have seen my uh, video about my rosacea situation um, you have seen that I've been using Dr. Bronner's soap for the longest time and I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to try the baby one because I was using the rose one and I have to tell you uh, the baby one is amazing. Like, look at this. I'm already half through the bottle because I'm using it for everything. And this is absolutely wonderful. It's even more gentle than the rose one. Um, and I'm using this on my face every single night and sometimes even in the morning. So this has been really good to me. Um, if you need a natural soap, I highly recommend getting into the Dr. Bronner's... Um, Kessa soaps and this one particularly is fantastic. All right, so the next thing, um, what am I showing you next? Let's do this. <laughs> the next thing is a little bit of a, a heart uh, item for me and it's the um, Aqua Colonia White Peach and Coriander perfume. And um, the thing is the 4711 Aqua Colonia perfumes are being made in the city where I'm from in Germany. Uh, they're from Cologne and this is where I uh, spent the longest time uh, in Germany. So I consider it being my, um, my hometown basically. And this one is the new addition to their team. They, they have wonderful ones. They have like mandarin and basil. They have cardamom in their... Um, in their scents and it's really really a natural fresh beautiful uh, range of, of uh, perfumes and this particular one is uh, white peach and coriander and it does smell like like those really light peaches sweet-ish but more on the fresh side and with something uh, a note of herbs in it and it's really wonderful and it uh, smells particularly well after a couple of hours of wearing this so whenever I even smell it on my clothes after I have been wearing it I'm enjoying myself so this is wonderful next thing up uh, also um, kind of a, a, you know a sequel to my uh, last video and um, I was telling you about that I was uh, using grapeseed oil on my face for the most part and I still do but I'm running out and I, I'm yet to order a new one from Amazon and um, the one that I've been uh, using the past couple of days and actually really enjoying is the um, camellia organic camellia seed oil um, this one is by Primavera and I'm I suppose these are available um, in, in Europe everywhere so you can you can look into this. It says it's soothing and protecting uh, and it's supposed to be applied onto damp skin and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm cleaning my face with the Dr. Bronner's and then I'm putting this on. And sometimes I still add some rosehip oil um, just to get rid of some uh, discoloration on my face but this one has been really good. The skin is really smooth and soft afterwards. It doesn't irritate my skin any further. I haven't re like I haven't seen it uh, calming down any of the issues I have been having on my face more than they probably would have been without it but it's not irritating so this is a plus and I'm using this as my only moisturizer. So that's good. 
Speaking of uh, having uh, trouble with troublesome skin, uh, I'm not sure if I if I've shown this in my last video, and in case I didn't, um, I'm gonna show it now. If you have breakouts, like hormonal uh, breakouts, like real pimples, not rosacea, n guys, not rosacea, just regular uh, um, breakouts, um, I highly recommend you look into the Dew Dab by the Living Libations. Is it? Yeah, it's just living libations without the there. And this is an essential oil and very, very strong. So you shouldn't apply too much because it will go into your whole system. When you're gonna, you're gonna, even if you didn't get any in your mouth, you're still gonna taste it if you apply too much. But this says it's a pure essential oil synergy of um, Cape Chamomile, Rose Otto, Cypress frankincense oh god immortal and lavender for anointing tiny lines cuparose little bumps and blemishes and this is fantastic i had no expectations when i ordered this but um i actually do dab this over my breakouts and as you can see i have some on my chin and I do this over uh, my oil of choice and this is amazing like after one night even the irritation goes down around the pimple the pimple itself dries down I have some breakouts on my neck right now and this has been really residing since I've been using the Judap so highly recommend okay so the next item is uh, makeup and that's exciting for me because I've been telling you guys uh, what kind of foundations and stuff I've been using and they weren't irritating to my skin but I noticed that in the end of the day especially since I still have a very like the rosacea situation doesn't go away it just gets under control but um, if I'm wearing anything that is too heavy then I can feel it on my face in the evening and that's really annoying and then you want to wash your face all the time but you're not supposed to do this when you have rosacea so um, I was looking into more natural versions and something lighter on my skin by most of the BB creams that I'm using except the one from La Paris uh, I don't really um, you know enjoy so much because they do irritate uh, my skin with something maybe it's the sunscreen or I don't know yet what it is but it doesn't even matter because I have been uh, seeing this uh, foundation popping up on several youtubers that I'm following um, one of them being holistic habits and also I think Alana Davison Davidson was her name <laughs> um, both of them recommended this foundation and I trust both of those girls because a they have fantastic skin and b their skin looks like it's very similar to what I have on my hands and I'm talking about the Alima Pure foundation and it's a mineral foundation and it says it's satin matte and that's exactly what it is it's absolutely amazing that's what I'm wearing on my face right now and mine is in the color beige or beige 2 and I was thinking it might be too um, dark for me, but this is actually a perfect match. It's a very neutral um, tone and um, I love this. The coverage is really good, even though it's supposed to be medium coverage. Um, it's enough. It's absolute enough and it's look, it looks very natural and very skin-like and I can go about my day without worrying about anything and I'm really enjoying this I, I have no desire to take like to wash my face in the evening when I'm wearing this like it's not irritated at all and also um, it doesn't um, get stuck to any weird stuff like it covers over pimples and lines and so like dry patches really well and I'm really really happy with this I ordered mine online um, I actually realized that our German um, beauty store, like the biggest one, uh, Douglas uh, or Douglas, um, is carrying these now online. So this is absolutely amazing, guys. And I'm going to try and get the 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 neutralizing primer and the concealer as well because I love the idea of mineral foundations. And this one is a particularly non irritated irritating one and it's also said to be um really good for acne prone skin so get this <laughs> all right so the next uh item before i finish with the face and beauty stuff is actually just a tester and i'm yet to go and get the full size i got this with something and it's the best thing ever <laughs> um, it's the dimensions de chanel mascara in black 
And I cannot tell you guys how much I enjoy this mascara. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not actually wearing it today for some reason. And I'm uh, really sad about that because it's a beautiful, beautiful mascara. It gives you the volume, it gives you the curl, it gives you the oomph. It's just fantastic. It's everything I'm looking for in a mascara. And it holds on really well without being waterproof. So I have this tiny little guy. And I need to go and get a new one, like a full size. So it's happening soon. All right, guys, and I'm gonna finish off. Oh, actually, I have, how many things I have? Mm. All right, guys, I have uh, yet one more thing to mention for the face. Um, so I've been uh, cleaning my face with the Dr. Bronner's um, soap all the time, um, but I realized that sometimes it's really hard to get off the mascara and, you know, the. The makeup on your face with just the soap or you have to wash twice which I don't like doing um, so I went into the um, uh, organic store and I looked for some uh, cleansing wipes and these ones are actually really good it's by Natra Care and these are the cleansing makeup removal wipes and um, they're for sensitive skin and so far I had no issues with them. They did not irritate my skin, even though they have a quite strong organic scent. Um, I had no problems with them whatsoever. So this is really cool and I'm enjoying using them and I take my makeup off with those, um, at least like the worst parts of it. And then I go in with my Dr. Bronas and my skin is super soft and clean and wonderful. <laughs> So the next thing I want to mention uh, is something for your hair and I've been on the hunt for a good organic shampoo for the longest time and as you can see my hair this is like second day after the washing I um and it's very fine and um, quite um, well it's not I don't have little hair but it's not a lot it's looking like very um, voluptuous kind of head so um, it's still fine and, and thin hair so I was always looking into natural versions but they would either not make it feel really healthy or they would smell weird or they would um, make me wa want to wash my hair every day which I don't want to do because I just wash my hair every third day um, or maybe even fourth if I can you know pull off a bun so this particular one was recommended to me by my friend Tatiana and I am absolutely blown away. I've never tried an organic shampoo that was so good. And it's so beautiful. Like, look at the bottle. It's so, so wonderful. It's by um, Bioterm. So it's Bioturm in German. Um, but it's Bioterm um, Natural Cosmetic. Um, and it's literally completely... Is, is it completely natural? I'm not sure. Oh yes, 99% nat natural ingredients in this one. And the bottle is wonderful. It gives you, this one is, the, the volume one, it gives you wonderful, wonderful vo volume on the first day. And even on the second, if I go like that, I can still, you know, make my hair look poofy and messy and stuff. And it's really beautiful and makes your hair soft and shiny and absolutely fantastic. I'm having good hair days with this all the time and I'm enjoying this so much that I actually bought the hair repair um, edition as well like the mask and this is wonderful like you have to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes um, but it's gonna be so worth it after you wash it off your hair will feel and mine is bleached will feel really healthy <laughs> natural and wonderful um, so highly recommend um, I'm gonna search if I can find those two because it's a German brand I hope I hope they ship everywhere and these puppies have been amazing <laughs> and so the last thing is not beauty related at all and it's uh, a tiny uh, underdog in here uh, in this collection and that's my favorite book of this month and I've been reading this it's nothing inspirational or something it's just a perfect book to take your mind off things and just enjoy a good um, writing and a good uh, story just just little random uh, stories out of someone's life and this one is by Ernest Hemingway it's a classic and it's called I don't know what it's called in English but it's about Paris it's about his time in Paris and um, it's so much fun to read um, 
I like the Mingwei. I know not many people, like some people have problems with him, but I like him and this particular uh, book is perfect for my situation right now where I'm on the go, uh, moving, you know, settling in and just want to distress and just kind of calm myself down after a long busy day. So this has been my uh, book of choice. All right, guys, so I have to sit somehow differently. Oh my God, I'm getting old. Oh. My legs are falling asleep, so I'm gonna um, close this video here. I hope you enjoyed my first uh, favorites and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you discovered in the month of March and if you tried any of the products that I mentioned and if you love them just as much as I do. And um, this is it. I'm really happy to be doing this. I'm sorry I'm filming on my phone right now because my setup is not ideal here yet, so I had to film on the phone. Um, because I don't even know where my camera is and it's just um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get better at this <laughs> but for now I'm doing it on my phone and I hope that's fine with you guys so let me know how you uh, how your month went if your April is being good to you because mine is quite uh, overwhelming and um, yeah give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and um, maybe even subscribe <laughs> who knows I um, hope to see you soon. Bye guys!